UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, says that the world has just over a dozen years to get climate change under control. The report states that global warming must be kept to a maximum of 1.5 degrees Celsius to avoid disastrous environmental impacts. Even half a degree higher will significantly worsen risks of floods, heat waves, wildfires, droughts and poverty for hundreds of millions of people. The report also speaks to the large-scale coral bleaching in recent years. In 2016 and 2017, marine heat waves caused by climate change resulted in mass bleaching which killed significant corals in the Great Barrier Reef. And what we've seen over the last few years is uh, two consecutive years of mass coral bleaching uh, directly uh, as a result of climate change. And in fact, I think you know all coral systems across the world have been challenged by uh, these very issues. Uh, climate change remains the biggest threat to the Great Barrier Reef. In Belize, warmer sea temperatures and high levels of acidity have been recorded in recent years. The 2015-2016 studies showed that 21% of corals bleached. In 2017, marine researchers became concerned about the conch fishery. Last year, um, when we had heating, like we are having a climate change, uh, a, a bleaching year, um, that was really bad. The water was very hot. We actually saw conchs burrowing. Um, or going outside into deeper water on the walls of the reef. And so um, it was a very bad year for Kongs out here at Lighthouse. And there may even be more threats to Belize's marine environment, as the report released this week found that coral reefs were likely to decline between 70 and 90 percent if temperatures increased from 1.5 degrees. And if global warming reaches 2 degrees Celsius, more than 90 percent of coral reefs are projected to decline. Avoid going even higher requires significant and immediate action. Minister Enoch says Australia has been undertaking ambitious targets to reduce the pressures on the Great Barrier Reef, which supports 60,000 jobs and provides about $6 billion to their economy. So we have targets with regards to our emissions, so zero net emissions by 2050. Uh, we have targets with regards to renewables, so 50% renewables by 2030. Uh, we are working towards uh, taking uh, more uh, cars uh, that uh, use fossil fuels off the road, uh, looking at electric, uh, electric vehicles in particular. Our own government fleet uh, of some 10,000 vehicles is being um, transitioned into electric vehicles to reduce that amount of uh, fossil fuel that's being used. Do you believe that you'll meet your targets that you've set? Absolutely. We are already on track to meet our targets uh, and we are, uh, we are uh, initiating uh, new programs such as our $500 million land restoration fund uh, which is about keeping trees in ground uh, and supporting uh, local people to build industries around that idea of keeping trees in the ground. Uh, those kind of programs all together, uh, all of these different efforts, lots of different layers of effort are all being uh, uh, stitched together to be able to support us meeting our targets, but ultimately us being able to reduce our impact uh, on, the, on climate change. According to the IPCC assessment, limiting global warming to 1.5 rather than 2 degrees would likely be the difference between the survival of some Great Barrier Reef coral and its complete decline. Minister Enoch says that like Australia, Belize needs to find ways to transition to a green economy in order to tackle climate change impacts on its barrier reef. The, the word for all of us is transition, is to find our way to transition into cleaner energy and clean energy industries and economies. Uh, that, is, that is the challenge for all of us. And I think no matter how big or small your economy, transition is the word uh, of which you can uh, really uh, you know, uh, find some pathway forward to get to that, uh, that new economy. There are lots of jobs and lots of economic opportunity in this transition towards a greener economy. So I would encourage uh, anyone right across the world uh, to really start looking at those uh, at that particular aspect and that challenge. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.